Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amira. And for today's video, we are going to tackle organizing this cabinet here, organizing and uh, decluttering this cabinet here. Now, if you've been a long time subscriber of mine, then you would have seen that this cabinet here in our kitchen was indeed my our old pantry. It's a really odd L-shaped um, pantry. Um, and we, we literally were using it as a pantry for years and years and years and years. So, um, now after, you know, changing our pantry into that, you know, turning our junk closet into an actual walk-in pantry, we now use it for like, um, serving wear. A lot of my serving wear, I love hosting. So I've got a lot of serving wear. However, I haven't organized it or decluttered it in a long time. So it's overdue. Um, it's an absolute mess because, you know, the kids have misplaced things in there, um, which is okay, but it's kind of pushed me to tackle it, declutter, um, organize, and try to come up with like a, a system in place to utilize the shelves the best that I can. Um, so I had grabbed some, you know, pantry shelving to hopefully um, help with that. Now, what I am planning to do is to take everything out and to categorize things. So I want to categorize things on things that I'll be keeping, things that I'll be, you know, donating if they're in good condition and things that I would, um, ask my family. I always love to ask my family for things before I, I decide to sell them. Um, and to ask them if they like something because, I do love my stuff. <laughs> I love my things. And when I know that they go into my family's places where they're, you know, people that I love, these things that I've loved in my home and they go into, you know, um, another home that I know that they're going to be used and loved and, and all of that, which is everything that I'm all about, it makes me feel better. And I did the same thing with the queen, the queen um, bedding that I had before upsize into a king and a lot of them went to my mum who is using them in her guest in her guest bedrooms. So it's really nice to see a lot of my favorite bedding are not gone. <laughs> I do see them, um, which is really nice. And that's what I like to do. I like to ask family first before I decide to sell anything at all. Um, and that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna actually show you the state of the cupboard. <laughs> um, I've already started to take out this shelf here, which had a lot of my mixing bowls and salad bowls, but it's an absolute mess. There's literally just things everywhere. There's, I want to organize it in a, in a way to categorize everything, just to give everything a home um, and just to be able to see everything properly as well. Um, I don't want any appliances in here. I don't know why this is even he in here to begin with, to be honest. So I don't want any electrical appliances. I really just want to dedicate it to majority of my serving wear and maybe possibly the things at the bottom are like, you know, my colanders, chopping boards and stuff like that. We'll see how we go. But yeah, a lot of my crockery as they call it. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to take everything out so we can then declutter and put things into piles. So let's get started. You're the night sky trying to make me okay. So the shelves have been cleaned and while they're drying, um, I'm going to start on the, the whole sorting out process and then pretty much start putting things back and making a home for everything. The dark gets lonely, now I see violet, I can feel silence, and the dark's all that I see. Okay, so I've made some piles, so things for keep, um, things that I'm going to ask for family and things that I'm going to donate. Um, there's so many teapots. I did not realize that I have so many teapots. I don't need so many teapots. So I've just kept one. <laughs> That's all I need. Um, and then kind of like mixing bowls together, salad bowls, serving platters and things like that. I've put them together. 
um, baking dishes and then now I'm going to grab okay so these are the bamboo pantry shelves that I grabbed I grabbed three of them but I do think that to be able to utilize the space really really well um, and you know try to minimize all the stacking and things like that I might need a few more but we'll see how we go with that um, so I'm going to go ahead and assemble these and then place them into the pantry and then get organizing so let's get to it it's assembled it I tried it in the shelf it is a really good size it's perfect However, I'm contemplating painting these. <laughs> um, I think I want them to blend in with the actual shelves. So possibly a light color. I don't know. I'm going to have a little bit of a think about it and maybe just put one shelf in, stack some things on it and just see how I feel about it um, before I finish the entire project. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a little bit of a think about it and then I'll come back and update you guys with which decision I with what I decided to do. <laughs> so stay tuned. Um, I tried it and I actually love the bamboo. I love bamboo, it's all over my kitchen. But I think it's the, this is the old color of our kitchen. It's like a red mahogany kind of color. I think that's what, what's putting me off. So I'm thinking of just painting this to, uh, you know, as close as I can to the actual color. I'll see what paint that I have. Um, I'll do that and then maybe that way it's a bit more appealing to my eye um, but yeah I love the bamboo shelves they're really really good but see how nice um, nicely organized it is now like I'm able I was never able to have these stacked nicely together I always had some of these inside of the bowl and it was just yeah a whole complete mess um, and I'm, I like how when you have the the shelf there's a really good distance at the bottom. Normally it's the other way around. Um, I feel like I'll put more of the heavier things at the bottom and then put the more little things at the top. Um, but yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to end up doing and hopefully it works out. Okay, you guys, all done. I thought that was never going to end. <laughs> but I am so over the moon with how it's turned out. Um, I can see literally everything nothing's like stacked on top of each other where I can't see and it's a whole bunch of it's going to be a domino effect if one thing's taken out everything's just going to fall down um I did a whole big you know pile of donation pile a pile for family which is really great and there was a whole bunch of things that were damaged as well so straight to the recycling bin um okay there was what else was I going to say I think I should stop rambling and show you guys the finished products and pretty much run you down. But before I go ahead and do that, I did go ahead and purchase a few more extra shelves and a smaller size of the shelves as well. And once you guys come closer to have a look, you'll know exactly why. <laughs> so come have a look. Have burnt out, and your heart makes no sound. I'll find valid in your eyes He'll always be my night sky Okay, I'm going to run you through what every shelf pretty much is holding. So top shelf has my teacup and back there has a cake stand and then these two beautiful um, baking dishes. So there's actual white ceramic baking dishes and then the basket is like their holder to protect the table and then from this shelf is where I started to use the bamboo um, shelving and I've got like a baking dish that I use quite frequently so I've just put it in arm's reach pretty much and a lot of my mixing bowls and salad bowls and then this section here I've got a lot of the single serve things um, for entertaining so I've got like single serve bacon dishes some soup bowls that are there some grazing um, you know maybe meze um, little serves they're like they've got like a, um, two sections and then here I've got like my truffle bowl and the matching dessert bowls as well and then going down is this section here is 
committed to everything drinking related so a lot of the cups that I like to use for entertaining only pretty much and outdoor entertaining um, and this beautiful acrylic amber set that I love to take on picnics um, but also really handy when we are entertaining outdoors and a lot of our jugs drinking jugs and some water bottles I like to take on picnics are in this shelf here and then the shelf underneath that there's some serving platters um, some canisters some ceramic canisters and then at the bottom I've just got a bit of everything so I've got like my mortal pestle here my colanders and I've got some measuring jugs here and then just some storage I'll take you guys these are some like storage for food leftovers and things like that um, but yeah that's pretty much it oops I ended up putting two hooks one here so in this basket bag I've got all like the little bit itty bitty things and I'll show you what is pretty much in there we've got like my grater um, and my Mandela for like slicing and shredding um, I just find that they're more safer in something rather than having them set there and the kids potentially hurting themselves so I put a little hook a basket bag and put them in there and it kind of looks really pretty as well and then another gold hook right above it right over here and it is holding my frequently used colander so it's at arm's reach as well but that's pretty much it absolutely love it the painting painting this the trimming here made such a big difference it's as if nothing happened at all um, and it's always been that color who would have thought that it was like a red mahogany color before painting it but yeah overall absolutely love it so functional practical looks beautiful to the eye and pretty much exactly what I um, planned for. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.